Hi guys, my name is Taylor. I work at the Meek, and today we're going to be talking about the flatback sea turtle. Flatback sea turtles are actually found off the west, north, and east coasts of Australia, as well as off of Papua New Guinea. So the flatback sea turtle is approximately 3 feet long and about 220 pounds maximum. The flatback sea turtle eats soft-bodied prey including sea cucumbers, squid, and jellyfish. They don't need any really special modifications for their beak because they are eating such soft, fragile prey. The flatback sea turtle nests on the west, north, and east side of Australia. They only lay 50 eggs per catch and only lay 5 nests per year. That is much fewer than other sea turtle species. So, some fun facts about the flatback sea turtle is that they got their name by their flat shell. Most uh, carapaces are going to be more domed, um, and it has a very sharp upturn on the edge, so it's very easy for you to figure out if it is a flatback sea turtle. And until 1988, they were actually thought to be a type of green sea turtle. They only very recently decided that it was its own species and classified it as such. So their population status is threatened, just like many of our other sea turtle species. There's just not enough known about this particular species, but they do estimate that there's only 20 to 21,000 nesting females in the entire world. That is not great for the species. We do have to work harder to conserve them. So one of the biggest threats for the flatback sea turtle is coastal development. Since they do have the smallest distribution of any of the seven species of sea turtle, they have the smallest area that they can nest in, and we keep developing it. People love to live on the coast, people love to be close to the water, but as we develop those beaches, it is limiting the areas that are safe for those sea turtles to make those nests. If there are a bunch of people and a bunch of lights and a bunch of garbage on those beaches, then it makes it not possible for them to make nests as one of the smaller uh, groups of species and as one that only is doing five nests with 50 eggs per nesting season, we really do have to optimize their nesting season as much as possible and we have to research more into them to figure out how to best conserve them.